Good morning, good morning. Here we are again, watchers, intercessors. Wow, another chance and another day to come to the Lord and to talk to Him about our prayers and the things that uh, burden our hearts and the needs of the people that we can bring to God. Thank you very much. I know that you are excited once again to pray for this Dawn Watch. So before we go there, our exhortation for today is about humility, forgiveness. But before that, we have to talk also about the word pride. When we say the word, I am proud of you, it became a notion day by day when someone reached an achievement, promotion in their company, scholarship, in sports and success in many ways is it a sin when we say i'm proud of you we sin when it resolves around ourselves pride is you thought you know better to exalt self to get above others to hide our defects and to pass more than you are that's why pride blinds. You cannot see your wrong, which are visible to others. Proverbs 16, 18. Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. The Apostle Paul also warns us by saying, If you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. Pride is the heart of bullying the very nature of human conflict is rooted in elements of pride proverbs 13 10 pride leads to conflict those who take advice are wise are you looking for grace hear this but he gives grace or he gives more grace therefore it says god opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble that's in james chapter 4 verse 6 and psalms 34 verse 2 says my soul shall make her boast in the lord the humble shall hear thereof and be glad together we pray psalms 139 23 and 24 search me O god and know my heart Try me and know my anxieties and see if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. We humble ourselves to you today. Forgive us of our pride. Change us, Father, and let our boasting bring glory to you, not ourselves. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let's be humble to God and to one another. Enjoy praying. 